द ब्यूटी ऑफ गिलगेट बाल्टिस्तान Welcome back to my channel. This is Ravi once again. I am extremely overwhelmed with the response I received on my vlog number one on Pakistan. So I am pumped and ready for this vlog number two, which is my detailed trip through Gilgit Baltistan. And then please do not forget to hit on the subscribe button so I can share more stories from across the world. So I started this trip to the northern areas from the brand new Islamabad airport, which is really beautiful. and then taking my first ever pakistan international airlines flight flight uh, 451 to skardu in gilgit baltistan the flight route took us over kagan valley and the very famous balakot and amazing mountain vistas just like ladakh in india and then flying over the stunning karakoram ranges and we could even spot nanga parbat on the left hand side and then the first side of river indus and then landing into skardu the setting is absolutely brilliant that's the pakistan international airlines that we took and check this landscape out guys just too good with the the pakistani range the pakistani range how do you feel now amazing man a pump a quick compulsory foreign registration ye hamare special guest hain specially ravi jo india se aaye hain right this is river indus the source the origin of indus valley civilization the lifeline of pakistan now and the name india comes from sindhu the sanskrit word and the next stop was to explore the katpana coal desert one of the highest deserts in the world at 7300 meters and this extends all the way to nubra in ladakh region of india Check this out, guys. I am walking on the cold desert. Wow! Check this absolutely beautiful wilderness. These are the sand dunes of the cold desert. Cannot get any better than this. Absolutely loved it. And witnessed a stunning sunset. We spent that evening exploring the 17th century sugar fort which has been converted into a new Serena hotel unfortunately I lost the footage so I won't be able to share it What happened Ravi Man fell down I hit a big stone and fell down man no Ow This was the way All right guys we are in the wilderness of Skardu so we are between the himalayan ranges and the opposite side is the karakoram range and the indus river flows through both the ranges this is nothing but pure heaven and i'm not exaggerating i've seen mountain ranges all across the world this is extra special the reason being this is in pakistan as an indian guy pakistan always is special for us to visit and the second important thing is this area controlled by pakistan has about 15 or 17 peaks uh 17 tallest peaks in the world which is not a small deal which is a very very big deal this place called shangrila very very famous because of the lake and the setting so in the beautiful shangrila resort surrounding the lower kachura lake
that's quite a beautiful view. Loved it. And the next visit was to the Mantal Buddha Rock in Shigar. So Ladakh is very similar to Gilgit Baltistan because it was all together once. And then uh, I was telling friends that Ladakh is similar terrain but a lot of Buddhist monasteries and Buddhist art. So they're taking me to this uh, Buddha Rock. Let's see what's there. And it was okay. a steep hike uh, to get to the Buddha Rock. Entered the place and the first sight was just wow. At the Mantal Buddha Rock. So in Gilgit Baltistan also, like Ladakh, you have some Buddhist scenery. Check this out. And then up and close to the Buddha Rock. It reminds me of the Bamiyan scenery. The Bamiyan Buddha was big and the Taliban blew it. I understand. But somehow this gives me the feeling that I'm there. And check this out. So many Buddhas carved in this huge rock. And then the Ajayin Buddha out here. Amazing to see so many Buddhas in Pakistan. I don't know, I, I, I'm feeling really, really good about it. Look at the big one. The next hop was to the Mantoka waterfall. So some fresh trout right from here, yeah. hot tea, that's the local Baltistan bread. Azo. 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 Lots of photo requests from people in the area because they've never seen an Indian come to this particular region. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Feels feels very good uh, to be in Pakistan okay. and from an Indian side. I mean, बहुत आनंद हुआ है मुझे भी Pakistan देख के इतनी खूबसूरत है. बहुत बढ़िया. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Thank you, sir. Yet another phenomenal day discovering various sites of Skardu area and back to Skardu on the Kargil road. And some relaxing beautiful moments listening to chirping birds, playing kids and witnessing yet another beautiful sunset. And then off to the Diosai Plateau which is the second highest plateau in the world. It's a little town. You see that burst of greenery in between the mountains. Looks really beautiful. and some rough terrain and hence a slow drive to the entrance to the DOSI National Park. And then the DOSI National Park entrance and another set of registration. We couldn't drive faster than maybe 10 kilometers an hour because of the very rough terrain and the drive was very slow as it started to get dark. It was rather slow but quite thrilling to drive on that rough terrain with all the twists and turns and uh, through the mountains. Uh, the scenery was fantastic and uh, really loud every second of the drive. What gets better than this? I've seen similar things in Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and maybe India. But this is really, really outstanding. What an experience.
beautiful time on the DSI plateau. The water, the landscapes, the sun diffusing the light of those mountains, everything to perfection. So we're having uh, green herbal tea in the plains of DSI with the police and rangers. Just had a beautiful time in the lap of nature, interacting with the rangers and police on the DSI plateau, which is the second highest plateau in the world and caught yet another beautiful dusk and sunset. And then a few hours to Astoria to spend the night. This is Yosar Lake. In the middle of the DSI plains, the road was very bad, so it got dark. But this gives you another perspective of the beauty of the DSI plains. Nasrallah Bhai was kind enough to drive us all the way to Astore while each one of us was exhausted and fell asleep. This is the end of part 1. Please stay tuned for part 2 to see more of my experiences through Gilgit Baltistan. Thank you.